Hello everybody, welcome. Not on the usual MacBook cam over there. And I've had some messages from people wanting to know about Pro Tools 8. And I just have to admit, first of all, I'm learning as I go. So I'll help you guys learn as you go. So we'll do some very basic stuff today. Part one, today we're gonna make a recording. Part two, in a few days, we're gonna show you how to overdub and revise some parts. And then part three, mixing and mastering. So today, the easiest way to get all the parts instead of me recording the drums myself, and then the guitar myself, and the keyboard myself, and then the vocals. Um, I'm just gonna record our whole bench. This is our digital board, and we have a uh, card in the back of this board that allows us to export digital audio in the uh, light pipe format. That's coming into the MacBook Pro through the M-Audio Profire light bridge. So that's a, if you're looking again for an audio interface, I come again to the fact that M-Audio is very cheap, but man, the quality is awesome. You can get one of these and have all kinds of channels of audio coming in for next to nothing. Um, within the audio board, I'm gonna choose what 16 channels go out, because you can only record 16 channels at once. So take a look at the screen here, and I'll show you exactly how we do that. Um, for instance, with, the keyboard channels. So I'll just punch up one of the keyboard channels. Um, and we're playing keys top, keys bottom, and Hammond. Now, because we have limited channels, I'm mixing all of those in through an aux end. If you scan the aux ends here, you can see that it's appearing in 10 for the right, and then nine for the left. Those are both pre-fader sends. And so if you'll come back out to the board a little bit there, Nelson, you can see when I double click nine and 10, that's our aux mix, that's what it looks like. We've got uh, the left of keys bottom, the left of go to 10, we've got the right of keys bottom and the right of the Hammond. So that's the way this board is condensing 32 channels into 16. Those aux sends and direct sends are coming out through the Profire light bridge over here, past Mr. Justin. We'll just flip this around, Justin's programming our lights. And this is what it looks like as it records. This was us recording our rehearsal. And uh, basically all those 16 channels are coming in through the Profire light bridge. We're not recording some that we're not using this week, like the uh, rhythm guitar we're missing and uh, the violin we're missing. So that's what it looks like when it comes in. You can see over in our mix window over here, uh, we'll go to view narrow mix. They'll fit in there a little better. But that's what it looks like. And I'm actually using the internal hard drive for this, which is kind of a no-no. Uh, but you can see with the MacBook Pro specs, it's keeping up. It's recording all these tracks at once and not even hiccuping. We had problems with that on the PC, even using an external RAID. So again, very impressed with the MacBook Pro. That's step one, and we'll pick up uh, next time with step two, and I'll show you a little bit about how you might do step two on the Project Mix I.O. if you wanted to record one part at a time, which will essentially be what we do when we overdub. Replace a few of the mistakes, because they're gonna be mistakes you're gonna see in just a little bit. All right, thanks for watching, peace out.